Session. What is the right of motherhood? Can it maim, destroy, withhold the right of its progeny to the same love that gave it birth? Can a bear deny its cubs, or the eagle its fledglings, or the beaver its kits? The answer then, in just a moment, is in this story starring Hilary Brooke. Seen as a rugged New England coast, where a small farmhouse stands forlorn and alone near the edge of a jagged cliff. Against this cliff, the sea strikes in monotonous rhythm. Inside the house, a shriveled old woman sits at the supper table, holding taut the silver cord that binds her to a pretty young girl who works at the menial task of clearing away the refuse. The silver cord that is at once the strength and the weakness of a selfish obsession. Leave my cup, Sarah. Right there, Granny. I haven't touched it. Can't see why you're rushing so. Tain't as though there was any reason for it. You know there's a reason. What reason? How would I know? Granny, there's no use pretending. Pretending? You know I've been counting on going to the Harvest Festival. You ain't said nothing lately. Thought you'd given it up. Jason being gone. Well, I haven't. Driving three miles into town and back alone, just for... I've hardly been out of this house for weeks. I want to be where there are people to talk to and fun and laugh. Those who set store by such things manages to forget their duty. Maybe. But you've got to laugh sometimes. Anyway, when you're young, you've got to. Laugh? Fiddlesticks. You ain't fooling me none, Sarah. Tain't laughing you're so hurried to get away for... Is to get dancing with them Struthers boys and Tom Doyle and the like. And there isn't anything wrong with dancing. And wanting to get their arms around you. That's what you're in such a hurry for. Duty or no duty. Am I forgetting my duty just one in one night of dancing? Don't I wait on you day in and day out? Isn't that about all there is in my life? Strikes me you ain't very grateful for my taking you in when you was left alone. I didn't have to. Me being your grandfather's second wife. You wasn't my flesh and blood. Oh, Granny, I'm grateful, but... Don't know what you'd do if it wasn't for me. No place to go, no kith or kin. I'll do what I can to make up for it. Funny way to make up for it. Go and gallivant and leave me here all alone. Just so as you can set your cap for some young fellow. I'm not setting my cap for anyone. And I ain't forgot how you was acting about Jason. Meeting him yonder on the cliff. Running out to him whenever he whistled. Jason's gone, Granny. Trying to come between us, he was. Trying to take you from me. Wasn't anything of the kind. He never even spoke of marrying. I'll change my dress now. Sarah! Yes, Granny? As long as you said I'm going, seems like you could look to my comfort a little. What is it now? Uh, you could move my chair to the window so as I can see the storm. You know well enough I ain't able to. It is beside the window. Uh, Tain't turned right. I can't see the cliff. There you are. <gasps> Must have hit close by that one, must you? It's getting late. I'll have to... Coming nearer. Coming closer to the cliff. Coming to keep an old lady company. Yes. Many's the time I've gone out to meet it. Out to the cliff, Sarah. Where you and Jason used to go holding hands. Other things have gone out there. Yes. Lots more important things. Long before you and Jason. Your Uncle Robert died out there. Eh. You know how he died, Sarah? I know. I've heard the thing. Yes. You heard what people say, but you don't... I'm ready. I'm going now. Sarah, you ain't going in the storm. Yes, Granny, I am. I should think you'd be afraid the lightning will strike the buggy. Sometimes does, I've heard tell. I'll get there, somehow. <gasps> oh, 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 Sarah, quick. What is it, Granny? I've been took with one of them stomach spares. <laughs> quit the medicine. Here, drink it. <laughs> Nasty stuff. Don't do me no good. You'll be all right in a minute. Oh, but I ain't, Sarah. The pain's awful. They'll wear off. But suppose they don't, and then you're gone. I'll put the medicine right here. Oh, pain's getting worse. It's creeping all over me. You ain't going now. 
fire. Oh, Granny, can't you possibly get along without me this one? Shuffering the way I am, you know how them sparrows are. I know well enough how they are. You never can tell when another one will come. All right, I'm staying. <laughs> You'll be better now. <laughs> saw a man on the cliff and said it looked like Uncle Robert. And then the wind went down and I heard the whistle. Oh, but I couldn't be sure, Jason. It might have really been just a whistle. I was afraid you might have gone to the festival. I was going, but Granny had one of her spells. Hmm. She hasn't changed any since I've been away. No, she hasn't changed. Nothing changes here. Things just go on. Listen to the waves. Pounding day in and day out against this cliff. Wearing down its Strength, little by little, so someday it'll get too tired to fight any longer. Slide down into the sand. People get worn down too, Jason. And for most of them, there's no way to escape. If there was a way, Sarah, would you take it? Oh, yes, Jason. But would you, Sarah, would you? Why did you go away? Well, you'll know in a minute, Sarah, but first I have to say something to you. Something I, I've never said because somehow I figured there wasn't any need. I figured you just knew. You what, Jason? That I love you, Sarah. If you did know, you must have. Oh, I wasn't sure you never said it. I was hoping that's how it was. Jason, being with you is all I've had from life. You do love me, Sarah. I wasn't a fool believing it. No, Jason. Oh, Sarah. It seems strange. All these hours we've been together and you never kissed me. Never held me and kissed me before. I wasn't sure you loved me. Oh, I do love you, Jason. So much that it's all that's kept me going. Even when it seemed as if there wasn't anything left to live for. Sarah, it was wrong of me not saying right away how I felt and what I was hoping to do, but I wanted to surprise you. About what, Jane? I have a job, Sarah. A good job down at the county seat. That's what I went away for. I'm going back tomorrow. Leaving? So soon? In the morning. Start work. And I'll be alone again. Not seeing anyone but her. What are you talking about, Sarah? We're getting married. Jason Mary, Us? Sure. And living together in our own place. With his life going on and people to talk to. And you coming home every evening. A home of our own. Maybe there are better things than that in life, but, but I'll never ask for more. There is nothing better, Sarah. And as soon as you can arrange things, I'm coming back for you and we'll be married right away. Oh, it'll be wonderful, Jason. But we're forgetting something. We're forgetting her and there. I'm not forgetting her. I'm finally setting you free of her. But I have a duty to her. You can't forget duty just to get something you want. Sarah, you've got to see this thing straight. You've paid her a thousand times over for whatever she's done for you. She's a selfish old woman who doesn't care about anything but herself. Don't love Don't me Don't say you... that, Jason. 
I love you so much that just now when I heard your whistle, my, my heart was pounding till I thought I'd die. Pounding louder than the sea down there. Then you must see it isn't right for you to give up all your life for what's left of hers. Look at what she did tonight, fixing it so you couldn't even go to the festival. She said she was ill, Jim. Well, it's mighty queer she's always ill when you try to get away for a while. Sarah, there's something unnatural about her power over you. Remember, you have a duty to yourself. I guess I've been blind. But I'm not blind any longer. I will marry you, Jason. I'll marry you as soon as you can manage it. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, this is something we have to celebrate. You're beautiful tonight. Oh, Jason. I'll get my coat, Jason, and meet you here. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm almost scared. Remember now. It's right what you're doing. You mustn't let her talk you out of it. Oh, not now, Jason. Never. Oh, my darling, I'm free. At last, I'm free. The strands of the silver cord unravel and unweave in the face of a love that knows not the word of defeat. The blood of heritage runs thick, but the wine of life brews high with the yeast of love. Each life to live, each life to die as it chooses, save that life in the grip of a greedy and selfish obsession. implications that are twisted by an obsession. Pondering the relative fates of a life buffeted by the squalls and mistrals of jealousy, Sarah has at last made the resolute determination to be free and to live her own life within the orbit of her love for Jason. Sarah has returned from her meditation on the cliff to the lonely old house and to the lonely old woman who lives in it. The lonely old woman who lives deep in the quagmire of obsession. Sarah, that you? Yes, Granny. You were gone long enough. Only a few minutes. And that's all I'm going to stay. Sarah, what are you doing with that coat? Where are you going? I'm going to the festival after all, Granny, with Jason. So it was him a whistling at you. He's back. And he turned you against me at last. You young fool. Where do you think this is leading you? Jason and I are getting married. That's where it's leading me. You can't marry Jason, oh, Sarah. Oh, yes, I can. And I'm going to. You know about your great uncle, Robert? You know the tale about how he died? Of course I know. You told me over and over again. Folks always said he was walking on the cliff yonder in the storm. And getting too close to the edge, he slipped and fell into the sea. I've heard the story, Granny. And Jason's waiting. He didn't slip, Sarah. He didn't slip at all. No one but me knows this. Not a body in the whole world but me. I was there on the cliff. I seen it. He jumped, Sarah. He'd done away with himself. Suppose he did. What has that got to do with me? Well, don't you see? He jumped, Sarah. He jumped. Because his head was full of strange notions. What are you saying? He used to tell me about his notions. Granny, what? He was mad, Sarah. Mad? Yes. And your blood relation to him. You're tainted, Sarah. Me? Oh, no, Granny. So you see now why you can't marry nobody. Never. Do you see? Well, where are you going, Sarah? Jason's waiting, Granny. I've got to send him away. I'm not hungry. Uh, perhaps a little tea would do you good. I'm not hungry. What you got to eat? 
You've got to keep alive. Why? What have I to live for? Now, Sarah, that's no way to talk. Why, it's been most a year since that Jason went away. You've got to forget him. Why? If all I can ever do is think of him, why must I forget him? Oh. Oh, look, Sarah. Uh, look here at the window. Hmm. Why, there's Dr. Williams. <laughs> Headed for Widow Carey's. He ought to stop past here first and see me. Nothing wrong with her. Nothing at all. <sighs> oh, it's getting cold in here, Sarah. Might be we could build that fire up a mite. You can put some wood on if you're cold. No. Yeah. I suppose I'll have to. You wouldn't care if we were both to freeze to death. Take easy, bending and lifting these. Oh, stop it, Grant. You're plenty able to do it. Oh, that's what you say, but... And that's what I know. You're getting old, Granny. And you keep forgetting I found you out. Learn that you weren't helpless and been deceiving me all these years. Oh, well, what does it matter now? It matters when you won't do nothing except sit there day in, day out. Staring out to sea, never saying nothing, just thinking. I have plenty to think about, Granny. After what you told me that night. It was my duty to tell you. My duty to send Jason away. But it hasn't made living any easier, knowing what I know. Sarah, we got to look after each other now. Yes, Granny. We've got to look after each other. Shut in these four walls. Hating each other, waiting for it. You watching me day in and day out. Dreading it, feeling your heart. Not knowing when it'll come or how. Now, if you go on brooding like this, I don't know what I'll do. I just... You can't stand it. And I'm waking every morning and wondering, will it come today and all day long? Think, how will it come? Will I know when? You've got to stop dwelling on it. Stop? How can I stop? Nobody could, I tell you. I've tried. But it's not known. Waiting. Fear. Well, of course, there ain't nothing certain about it. Uh, your Uncle Robert was past 40. Past 40. And I'm 24. Sarah, you've got to get hold of yourself. Sure, i got to get hold of myself. I gotta keep on standing. Well, I can't do it here. Not even God could ask that of me. Sarah, where are you going? What are you going to do? Sarah, stop! Sarah! Yesterday, Sarah ran into Jason. He wanted to know how you are. Oh. Uh-huh. Give me a message for you. He's coming here tonight to take you to the festival. Good boy, Jason. Suppose you'll be marrying soon. He's doing so well and everything. Me marry him? Why not, if you love him? Granny told me, Doctor. Why I couldn't marry him. Granny told you? Told you what? Why I couldn't marry anyone. Ever. Oh, she did. And why was it, child? She told me about Uncle Robert. The real truth about him. Just what did she tell you, Sarah? You know, you must. She said his head was always full of strange no, notions. Oh, he was a queer one at times. She said it wasn't an accident the way he died. She was there and saw him. She said he jumped off the cliff. She had no right to tell you such a thing. She told me it was because he was mad. Your Uncle Robert mad? That's why I couldn't marry Jason. Nor anyone. Sarah, you poor child. Please, Doctor, it isn't sympathy I want. I can't stand that. But I've got to know the truth, all the truth, about myself and Uncle Robert. And the others in my family, 
the stuff at two. No, 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 Sarah, never. It's a lie she told you about your uncle. All a lie. Doctor, you, you're not just trying to make it easy for me. You wouldn't say that just to... No, no, I tell you, it's a cruel lie, Sarah. I was the first one to reach your uncle after he fell. He was dead. Hit the rocks below the cliff, but clutched tight in his hand was a bush he grabbed to save himself when he slipped. The rain had washed the roots and it gave way. It was an accident. He was no more mad than I am. You're sure there was never anyone in my family who... No, 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 of course not. I've known them all from a way back. Uh, come, Sarah, let's... Let's go on down to the house. Oh, Dr. Whistler. I can't believe anyone could be so cruel. Yeah, it was a terrible thing to do, sir. Terrible. Old folks are selfish sometimes. They try to hold on to the young ones and keep them from living their own lives. It's as though coming to the end of the road, they hate to be shoved aside and clutch at anything to stay in the thick of things. They don't always fight fair. But a whole year, Doctor, I believed it. And maybe there's another thing had something to do with it. You see, Sarah... She was in love with your great-uncle Robert, although she was married to his brother. And maybe being thwarted in her own love, she was jealous of you and Jason. That happens sometimes. But that isn't any reason no, to... No reason for a normal, healthy mind. But you see, Sarah, she's been acting strange-like at times. That's why I've been watching her coming in every few days. Oh, she's harmless enough, but... Well, we'll see, Sarah. We'll see what's to be done. Doctor, it's Jason. I can marry Jason now if you want me. Of course he wants you. Go to him, child. I'll look in on Granny. Maybe I'll see you and Jason at the festival later. Here I am, Jason. Here by the... Doctor! Jason! Who's this, Sarah? Seen to come from the cliff? I... Sarah, are you all right? Oh, holy cow, Jason. Did, did you see? Yes, yes. Uh, it was your grandmother. You saw her, Jason? Oh. Did she fall? She went over all right, but I don't know whether she fell. I'm afraid we'll never know. Oh, poor Granny. She was very old, child. Very old. No matter how it happened, she's set you free. Yes. He's right, Jason. Granny set me free at last. Listening to Obsession.